<laughs> well, sir, I've been having quite a time getting anything to eat here in New York. Well, just as soon as I can get cooled off a little bit, I'll tell you about it. I'm so doggone mad right now. If I bet myself, I'd have hydrophobia. I just missed my train. Well, that makes four of them I missed now today, and I've got on the wrong train twice, and I can't miss any more of them till a long next week sometime. They only have a train to Pumpkin Center once a week. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to looking around here in New York for a place to eat. You know, when I used to come to New York, I always stopped at the Astor House. I kind of like Mrs. Astor's cooking. <laughs> but that ain't here anymore. I got into one place, they called it Cabaretti. They charged me five dollars to sit down at the table. They had a lot of circus gals dancing in there. One gal come up and kicked right over my head and tickled me under the chin and died. I had to get right out of there. <laughs> I got to blushing so I could feel the heat of breaking out all over me. Then I got into another place kept by Mr. Cafeteria. They had a lot of gals in there. One gal hand me a little tin plate and another put a knife and fork and a napkin on it. And another gal gave me a little butter. You could almost see it. <laughs> I think she was Mrs. Hoover. Another gal gave me two slices of bread and another one a bowl of soup and another one some mashed potatoes and another one some roast beef and then they wouldn't let me eat it till I paid for it. I had to carry it over the table and set it down and go get a cup of coffee and a spoon and the cream and sugar and a glass of water and the pepper and salt and I got it all together finally and I ate it and when they wasn't watching me, I sneaked out without washing the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'll just bet Mr. Cafeteria will be mighty mad when he found all them dirty dishes what I left. <laughs>